right. I'm going in your house, Ichabod. Ichabod Crane. Look at these light switches. Everyone got these fancy light switches. Tribal outfit patterns. Huh. Note added. Tribal outfit patterns. These patterns are not in a digital format, but contain enough detail that they can be scanned by a wardromatic. Oh, awesome. Cool. Now I can give my hussies some authentic tribal clothing. Perfect. I'm a stranger. Hey, little kid, what you doing? Hi there, mister. You need something? Yeah, well, I want to kick some dust in your face, Dusty. Hey there, little girl, what you doing? What you doing there, Whitney? Hello, mister. Welcome to the valley. Thanks, Whitney. Are you always as friendly with strangers who have guns and horrible creatures with them? Well, if you came through the tunnel, then my dad met you at the top of the ladder. And if he let you into the valley, you must be okay. My God. Besides, you're the first stranger I've ever met. Stranger danger. Your dad's the mayor. Yep. He didn't want to be, but Mom made him run and Everybody elected him because he's so smart. It's not exactly the impression I got. Jesus Christ, I'm an asshole. Uh, never a straight answer. He's a born politician. You should tell him that. <laughs> he says an election is just a lynching that lasts four years. If you told him he sounded like a politician, maybe he'd start giving me a straight answer once in a while. Can I ask you something about the valley? Sure. What do you want to know? Why doesn't anyone go into the south part of the valley? Because it's dangerous. The cannon's really deep and poisonous too. And when big animals get into the valley, that's where they come from. And evil spirits. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there are lots of those too. Hey, <laughs> ghosts are real. I'm a ghostbuster. You know about the tunnel? Have you ever been down there? No. It's dark. I mean, I'm not afraid of the dark, but it's really old. Who knows when it'll crash down on your head. It's creepy. Do you know anything about the police station? Come on! I've told you all about the valley. You tell me something now. You know how many men I've killed? Okay, what do you want to know about things outside the valley? Don't you know anyone who's outside the valley? No. We're the first stranger, brother. Uh, outside the valley. I don't know. What are the people like? What Mean, do they wear? Jeans, what do they eat? Food. What do they do for fun? Uh, that kind of stuff. Well, uh, most of them are like the people here, but too many went want to be mayor. It causes a lot of fighting. Selfish, clothes, food, and you're too young to know, respectively. They shoot you in the face and leave you to die or hang you on a cross. <laughs> Take your pick. Um, let's do this one. Okay, so if there's a starving Yaogwai in the valley, you can either be dinner for its family, or it can be dinner for yours. Yes. And if the Yaogwai is really a man, it seems like a tougher choice, but it's really the same choice. I get that. Mm. What I don't get is why people hurt each other just to be mean. It seems so... wasteful. Well, you know, they got long vacations. I think you're going to make a great mayor someday. That may be the wisest thing I've ever heard. Because, like it or not, hurting people feels great. Feels great and good. And, oh, God. I think you're going to make a great mayor someday. Uh, that may be the wisest thing I've ever heard. Wow. Miss Saffron says I'm smart. But that's the first time anybody ever called me wise. Thanks. Don't you know anyone who's out been outside the valley? Of course I do. Everybody goes exploring at least once when they get old enough. I mean, they don't have to, but who wouldn't want to, right? So you're like the Amish. Okay, I get it. What did they say it was like? Nope. <laughs> That's cheating. I asked you first. Wait, what'd you ask me? See you later, Whitney. Okay, come back and tell me what it's like outside the valley sometime. I just did. I said they're robots and death and Jesus. No, literally, Jesus is there sometimes. Morning. 
How are you? How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, Chasm, could you stop saving, like, every... Until we meet. Every 15 seconds? That'd be great. Even though you have a specified time, which you're probably following perfectly. All right. So, police station and or... Uh, south. NHP's case file. This isn't the police station. Yeah, no, they're talking about a different police station. All right, we're just... We just like talking about police stations for some reason. All right, so they said to the south is where the death is. Here's the cleric. There's a lot going on here. Jeez. Just looking for some trouble with the people in the valley. Looking for some trouble with the people in the valley. Cherry Orchard. My God, the biggest whorehouse ever known to man. We're gonna revive the Cherry Orchard and get everyone to go there. Start a whorehouse where people didn't have one before. Oh. Hello, Geraldine. My god. Who are you again? Well, you're made of spinach. Actually, I don't think I've had the pleasure. Have you met Kentucky? I'm his gal. Nope. Is Kentucky dead? Kentucky's looking a bit thin. I don't think he's well. That guy, he's as dead as the Charleston, sweetheart. I don't think he's well. He's a great mechanic, but he just can't keep up. Evil spirit south of the schoolhouse. I guess that's you. Here, I got you a new outfit. Uh, I mean, I didn't. I guess that's you. I didn't. Thanks. Actually, don't have any clothes for you. Actually, never mind. Here's some, uh, here's, here's some cool shades and a, and a, and a backpack. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> evil spirit of the south. Uh, I guess that's you. No, you're evil. Yeah, I am. You got me. I know you are, but what am I? Sorry, that was a joke. <laughs> Come on, let's hang out, Geraldine. You're awesome. Okay, I think I'll look at going. You come back real soon now. Geraldine, look at you. You got a magical backpack filled with shoes. Geraldine, look at you. Singing my way across the world. I'm gonna take your boyfriend's hat. He's dead. Alright, that was the evil spirits. Maybe there's some stuff in here too I'd imagine cherry orchard things about to get steamy cuz I'll have to towel them off free scumbags and by scumbags I mean tables oh wait no I mean ghouls where are you, Mr. Ghoul? I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Actually, I'm gonna hit you in the mouth. You hiding in the bathroom? Where are you? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna murder your face off. I know you're not over here, but whatever. I'm gonna murder your dick off. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm over here now. Whatever. I'll go to sleep. Do you think you can hide from me? Don't take, don't take them from me. Ball arms. Ah, crap. She's mine, or he's my ah, crap, son of a- Oh god, oh jeez. Hello, ladies. <laughs> oh, that was great. Hi! Sorry, I'm- I mean, I am looking for hussies, but so sorry. You don't seem qualified enough. Scanning rooms. Look at me, I'm scanning rooms. Bonnie's diary. Holy shit. Mm 
ammo. That's pretty cool. Oh, crap. No. Ugh, really? <laughs> oh, my okay, so when I die. 9977. Maybe that nosy newspaper bitch had a point. I pretended like I don't know Geraldine's a junkie, but when you think about it, most girls do this to pay for one bad habit or another. Plus, Slippery the Snake really does treat us like slaves sometimes. He's taken to leaving and locking us in for air raid alerts. Says it's to protect us, but sirens go off all the time, and I bet he just doesn't want us getting spooked and running off. Gets kind of lonesome. Good thing Mabel will fix my vibrator. Smiley face. Oh, girls. 10-4. Heard about Larry Slater on the TV today. They're gonna hang him for sure. Jimmy had a real hoot about that. It's a shame. Always wanted to go over and see if they was hiring. Half them girls become movie stars. And even if they don't get to lay with pop stars and senators and billionaires and such, all they ever get is fat convention drunks and overeager college boys. 1025. Well, we're done for... Jimmy left and locked us in for another air raid. TVs went out. Mabel got the radio working, but wasn't nothing on but some emergency broadcast signal. Finally came on and said, China dropped the big one. Jimmy, that yellow bastard, must have headed for a vault when he figured out it was for real and left us here to starve. Ain't nobody gonna know we're uh, in here on account of how he never let us talk to the locals anyhow. 12.23. Or did we go back? No, we didn't. Uh, Mabel's trying to rig that costume machine to make food. Something about molecules and organic whatnot. Didn't understand a word, but if she can turn my nighty into a cheeseburger, I'll go naked. Geraldine asked me if I can make junk. She's out and jonesing bad. Ain't holding my breath in either way. After we seen that big radiation warning on the back, the rest of us decided to wait in the casino while she tinkers. 12.25. Well, Mabel done blowed herself to bits like I figured. Now I wish I was with her because our hairs all falling out and they taught us in school what that means merry fucking christmas won't be long now i guess 113 we ain't dying but we ain't getting no better neither i look like one of them pictures of rad victims but i'm still breathing geraldine said it was god's wrath for our sins so i smacked her in the face ain't god's wrath them teachers was just wrong about rads like they was wrong about everything else 220 2278 i busted all the mirrors but i'm probably too late half them girls want right to start with wasn't right to start with, and seeing themselves like this pushed him right over. Geraldine figured out the attic windows wasn't locked and jumped. Three stories down must have been a pretty mess, but she's fine. She's not dead or anything. I was going to follow her, but I seen a roach big as my foot, and he looked pretty tasty. He was, too. Oh, you ate a Steve. Undated entry. Ain't going to write no more after this. Starting to sound as crazy as the rest of them. Too much, think, too much thinking, not enough eating, I reckon. Oh, Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe she's a ghoul. Maybe it's Maybelline. Her name wasn't Maybelline, was it? It was something. Belladonna. You look beautiful, honey. I don't know what the others are saying. Don't listen to them. You can eat all the cheeseburgers you want because you're a ghoul now. Maybe it's Maybelline. War Dramatic XK. Patterns downloaded. Oh, Alright, sweet. Cherry Orchard outfit pattern. Oh, <gasps> look at this! I'm gonna break my legs. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Mr. Cuddlesworth! <laughs> it's me, Santa Breach, and I've brought you tons of new hats. Maybe it's me. Maybe Ugh. Have we been in here? Yes, we have. Alright. I don't really know if... I mean, I got we got the suits. We got the costumes. I don't really know if there's anything else in here. I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing in this town. Dirty kitchen, dirty kitchen. Someone's bitching in the ew. Put a toilet in the no. Actually, that's probably perfectly fine. The dirty kitchen. Ooh, it's pretty cool. A little casino. All right. I guess we're going outside. 
nice meeting you. Thing, building. And all you dead ghoul hussies. Look at that dump truck. What are you doing, dump truck? What are, what are you doing? No. Goofy, you goofy dump truck, right? Goofy dump truck. How many people? We got two, four. Two, four, five peeps with us. Hot diggity dog. I'm gonna have to do, like, a switch off program. Because. Well, the OG was four. That's Jerry Cuddles, Steve, and Ball Arms. Now we have five. So that's never going to be good. Guess we're just going to explore everyone. Alright, we were in here, sorry. How, how's the, oh, uh... Hello. How's the, uh... Oh, Bonnie's Diary mentions a Geraldine. Did you work at the Cherry Orchard? I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. Used to be. Baby, you're the hottest 200-year-old I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So you were a prostitute before the <laughs> war, after that compliment? Oh, that's such a long story. You couldn't possibly want to hear about that. Well, I could make a sandwich and you could talk. The diary says you got religion before you escaped. The others were still alive. Didn't you ever think about rescuing them? Cherry Orchard girls dreamed of working at Lollipops. As it happens, ooh... Oh, nice. The diary says you got religion before you escaped. Not really. Oh, I was thinking about hell or the afterlife or something. I was just lost in my thoughts. You know how it is. Yeah. If you guys were still alive, didn't you ever think about rescuing them? Some of them went crazy. There's not really anything I can do. Uh, you want to work for me? Yeah. Yeah. Lollipops is hiring. Kentucky tells me I shouldn't do that. Kentucky Fried Chicken would shut his damn mouth. I just thought you'd find it interesting that we're back in business. See you later. Kentucky's last wish was for me to take care of his hat and, of course, his gal. Shh, shh, shh. Say no more. There you go. You get out of here. Oh, wait. Are you going to follow me? Oh, crap. Don't follow me. Hi again. Uh, you're going to die. Ew. No. Do I have a... I can give you armor or something. I'll give you Kentucky's mask. <laughs> i just give you the worst armor in existence. Hey! Ball arms! Stop, stop trying to hug cuddles! Damn it! No! Stop! 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 Ugh. Sorry, Cuddles. Just let it happen, I guess. You know you could push him, Cuddles. You're pretty... pretty sure you're a little bit stronger. Jesus Christ, Geraldine. You are far too close to me. Is she seriously gonna follow us? I thought she was gonna... run back. We have an army with us. Can you not stand so close to me? Don't stand so close to me. Have you never heard of that song? It's a very clear warning to so don't stand so close to me. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. All right, I'm going to, just in case. Just in case, I'm going to make sure you don't die because people die all the time. Uh, all right. Guess we're not supposed to go down there. No, that's a definite no-no. Hey, you want to go back to the town and scare everyone with your scary face? I don't think it's that scary, but everyone else is going to think it's scary. There's so many houses. Like, we, we can go in every one of these houses, can't we? I mean, uh, I guess we could, but... Jeez. Come on, Wall Street. Take him away my frames. 
All these houses empty. Oh, is this not near? Oh, no, it is. Alright, well. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I could... I hope the game didn't crash. I mean, I could cut. Because uh, I really don't think there's going to be a lot of... excitement going on with me going through 18 different houses that may or may not have anything in them. None of these houses have anything in them. They're, these are all the same houses. Alright. They might not be. Alright, let's go talk to the townspeople. Come on. There you go. Reaching the bottom of the barrel, people. Scraping for them. We're gonna be doing house mods next. That's when you know. Nothing wrong with house mods, it's just... Uh, it's just a different, you know, quest mods are easy to review, and that's why I do them, because it's an adventure, and you go on an adventure and you have fun. Uh, yeah, go in the lodge. Plus, how, I mean, depends. Morning, sir! Hi. Alright, fine. Jesus. Hello? Welcome, outsider. All right. Hello. Welcome, outsider. All right. Hello. Hola. Hola. Uh, yo no tengo espanol. Yatahe. All right. Um, don't think that's how that works. You're welcome in the valley, stranger. Yes. I mean, is it, well, I guess it is pretty warm. Hey. Welcome, stranger. All right. Well, everyone's very friendly. Hello. Okie dokie, everybody. Let's go to the clinic. Tell them we got a tummy ache. Got a tummy ache. I eat too many Google bars. Oh God, where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? Could your follow distance be any closer? Seriously. There you are. Hey, Dr. Esposito. Yatahe. All right, I don't speak Spanish. Heal damaged limbs. Hi. I did it. No, don't touch her boob. Ah. It's all soggy. Like a bag of sand. Wet sand. Let's see what we got. Get away, Geraldine. Calm down. Two hundred fifty minimum follow distance. How's everyone doing? Howdy. Okay. You're not. Yeah, okay, there you go. Hello. Misty. You are welcome in the valley, stranger. Do you have a, any water Pokemon? No? Just gonna walk away, not even acknowledge my reference to Pokemon? Hello. Hello. Hola. Howdy. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Yatahe. Hello, baby. Welcome, outsider. Hello. Good morning. What do you need? Jeez. You got a manly voice, little man. Later. All right. Kid's got... He's the only one wearing pants because Hi, it, he didn't have hola. pants on. Jesus! You look great in some leather armor. Calm down. It's a child, all right? Geraldine, jeez. Unbelievable. Hello. Hello. Actually, here you go. Oh, I don't know. Wait. Nope. Let's go over there. I think that's the... Oh, that's the fire department. All right, cool. Ah, oh. Pa-rump. Pa-rump-a-dump-dump. -dump. The Pa-rump gas station. 